And this is an extremely peculiar um, Morris dance tune that I just think is pure magic. I love it. And I, I was taught this tune by um, Chris Wood, who most people now know as a guitarist and singer. Um, but like he, he, he is my, he was like the fiddle player that made me uh, want to play English tunes, essentially. Um, and it was just amazing. And he never played the fiddle anymore, which is a very sad thing, I think. But hey, uh, it, it's a tune called Saturday Night. Um, and I don't know how close this is to, to the, the plan version of this, but this is the version that he taught me anyway. Um, so yeah, I'll play that. And then if I can remember how it goes uh, when I get there, it might just be on its own. It might just be that tune and we'll call it quits. <laughs> but, uh, but if I can remember how it goes, I'll play another tune, uh, which I just learned properly, um, called The Queen's Delight, mm -hmm. I think it's called. I had a really surreal experience playing for some Americans the other week. Uh, so do you know Ewan McPherson from Salt Lake? Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, right, so he rang me up the other week and he was like, uh, Sam, are you, uh, are you near Bible? In the Cotswolds, I was like, well it's like maybe 40 minutes from where I live. Mm. Why? He was like, well I'm doing this thing where um, I'm taking some Americans on a sort of guided tour of the Cotswold Way. Because <laughs> um, he's done some training apparently where he's going to become a mountain guide person, but that's not quite happened yet, so he was roped in to do this <laughs> bizarre thing on the Cotswold Way for a bunch of lovely, lovely Americans. Um, but I got the impression that they were very much sort of being driven to parts of the cocktail <laughs> bed. <laughs> sort of looking at them and maybe not, not walking you. <laughs> anyway, and then on these guided tours they have what they call cultural wow moments. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and like Ewan was sort of like, do you want to be the cultural wow? <laughs> genuine Cotswold experience for these Americans. So I drove to Bybury, and if you don't know Bybury, it's a very chocolate box kind of Cotswold thing. They film everything there because it's so, it's so beautiful. I think it's quite a wretched place actually. I don't know if you've read it. That way you get home, it's that Bybury yellow car if you Google. Because there was a guy who lived in Bybury who bought a yellow car. And but the, the locals didn't like it. <laughs> 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 Keeping with this sort of chocolate box Cotswold. <laughs> So they tried to, to oust this guy. <laughs> it's dreadful. But then the result was that there was a massive national outcry and thousands and thousands of people who own yellow cars. <laughs> 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 so it was like, yeah, that's the village that I was playing, playing in um, for these for these Americans, yeah. And so I sort of gave them a genuine cultural <laughs> Like a couple of wow moments, which was very strange. And they tip. And I thought, like, my favourite bit, sorry, I'm all close to the music. My favourite bit was this guy at the end, and he just looked me straight in the eye and he said, um, You know, Sam, if you carry on, I know you have a bright future. <laughs>